external affairs is speaking. This is in the wake of the URI attack and heightened tension between India and Pakistan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had chaired a meeting of the Cabinet Committee on Security to review the situation along the line of control. Ladies Let's go across to our sister channel, CNN Jalen, News 18. And a very good morning to all of you. It has been a matter of serious concern that there has been continuing and increasing infiltration by terrorists across the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. This is reflected in the terrorist attacks at Punch and Uri on 11th and 18th of September, respectively. Almost 20 infiltration attempts have been foiled by the Indian Army successfully during this year. During these terrorist attacks and infiltration attempts, we have recovered items including global positioning systems and stores levels and the military levels at regular times. India has actually also offered consular access to the apprehended terrorists to Pakistan to verify their confessions. Furthermore, we had proposed that fingerprints and DNA samples of terrorists who had been killed in the Uri and Punch encounters can also be made available to Pakistan for their investigations. Despite our persistent urging that Pakistan respect its commitment made in January 2004 not to allow its soil or territory under its control to be used for terrorism against India, there has been no let up in infiltration or terrorist actions inside our territory. If the damage was limited, it has been primarily due to the efforts of the soldiers of Indian Army who are deployed in a multi-tier counter-infiltration grid and most of the infiltration bids have been foiled at those locations. The Indian Armed Forces have been extremely vigilant in the face of continuing threat. Now, based on very specific and credible information which we received yesterday, that some terrorist teams had positioned themselves at launch pads along the line of control with an aim to carry out infiltration and terrorist strikes in Jammu and Kashmir and various other metros in our country. The Indian Army conducted surgical strikes last night at these launch pads. The op operations were basically focused to ensure that these terrorists do not succeed in their design of infiltration and carrying out destruction and endangering the lives of citizens of our country. During these counter-terrorist operations, significant casualties have been caused to the terrorists and those who are trying to support them. The operations aimed at neutralizing the terrorists have since ceased. We do not have any plans for further continuation of the operations. However, the Indian Armed Forces are fully prepared for any contingency that may arise. I have just spoken to the Pakistani Director General of Military Operations and explained our concerns and also shared with him the operations we had conducted last night. It is India's intention to maintain peace and tranquility in the region. But we can certainly not allow the terrorists to operate across the line of control with impunity and attack the citizens of our country. In line with Pakistan's commitment, made in January 2004 not to allow its soil or territory under its control for any terrorist activities against India, we expect the Pakistan Army to cooperate with us with a view to erase this menace of terrorism from our region. Thank you very much. Devi or Sajano, Jai Hind, and good morning to all of you. 
ये हमारे लिए एक बहुत ही गंभीर विषय है कि पिछले कुछ समय में जम्मू एंड कश्मीर में नियंत्रण रेखा के पार से घुसपेट की बढ़ोतरी हुई है 11 और 18 सितंबर 2016 को पुंछ और उरी के अंदर हुए आतंकवादी हमले ओके दैट्स द वर्क